All right, so the third step in this end card process is actually um, getting it onto YouTube and the annotations. So basically, you're going to you know go to Upload on YouTube, and which pops up this, and you're going to um, select the file you're looking for. And what you want to do is set it as private. And this allows you to edit the annotations before everyone sees that you don't have links and it looks all crazy. Um, so then you'll let that upload. All right, so now it's done uploading. And we can now go to the actual video. And we're going to add the annotations to the end card. And this is a very important part. Um, like I said, we made it private so nobody can see it until it's completely uh, ready to go. Let's just um, find where the end card starts. It should be around here somewhere. There it is right there. So I paused it right when it turned into the end card. And now we need to just add annotations. And the best way to do it is use Spotlight and you can see you just drag it up to where the video is and you're just creating a link so that people can click your videos and keep going through your videos and it gets you more views and stuff like that it looks professional and whatnot so this is the one that I use right now and then we're going to one thing to do with the spotlight is to make it um, click this one right here and make it have a clear black black so now it just blends in you can't even tell it's there and we also want to drag it out so we just make sure that it goes till the end of the track and uh, you can zoom in just to get a little bit better view of it there alright so that's that one and we also need to obviously put the link into the video so this will be my Battlefield 3 video so then you'll paste the link in there you know and then you'll add another annotation spotlight You'll do this on all your little video squares, and you could do it over the word too if you really want them to be able to click the word and the uh, the video itself. You know, make sure you do this like that, and put the link in, and drag it all the way out. And then for the subscribe button, it's the same way: add an annotation, spotlight, and then uh, for the subscribe button, YouTube makes it easy to just um, click link and then click subscribe and then put your channel name in so crazy airborne and now they will be able to click that and go to your subscribe page and then what else can we do basically that's about it so you just go through and add all your annotations make sure they're all this the clear the black with the clear background and that should do it. So thanks for watching, guys. Now you should uh, hopefully have a completed end card that's published on YouTube. And make sure you set it to public once you are finished with adding the annotations. Thanks for watching my tutorials, guys. I hope that helped you get an end card set up and get your YouTube channel looking more professional.